Let's just start off with how you feel the draft went for your team. Uh, <clears throat> as of today, I thought it went very, very well. You know, we traded down. Uh, we got some good players. Uh, we got a couple good safeties <laughs> and uh, a couple great safeties. Right, cornered the market on safeties early. Uh, I think we did okay. And good leadership, guys that uh, will fit well with our team, the team we're trying to build, young and fast, and uh, have an attitude of winning. So I, I think we did extremely well. But we'll know uh, down the road, see how the guys do, see how they fit in. Well, I mean, the way that Tony Richardson spells Jets, you, you need an S. <laughs> That's why he drafted C-H-E-T-E. <laughs> any, exactly. any type of cheetah reference we can get in. But, but, but you, you mentioned, though, the, the players, the type of players you're looking for. Obviously, last season, major disappointment. The things that we've heard about coming out of that locker room, some of the players and what they said, even by week three, what was happening in that locker room. The, you, you had to have gotten that sense pretty early on, like, it's you know clean house is probably a strong word because you do keep obviously your your leadership structure, but that you had to change that locker room and you had to make dramatic changes to that locker room. Well, I think <clears throat> you know I think we've uh, we've tried this various things over the years that I've been involved with the New York Jets, and what we haven't done is really concentrate on younger players, on young players, and making sure the coaching staff is capable of teaching those players and getting them better, however they learn. And really the way I want to be judged this year, I think, hopefully from the fan standpoint, is, uh, is just watch how we improve during the year and watch how each and look at each, each individual on the team and see how they're getting better. And if they're getting better, that's a mark of progress, and that's what we're looking for. So not really as much judging on wins and losses, but more on our younger players, are they better by the end of the season? Which, exactly. You know, that's there are some fans who might freak out if it's a five. There, there could be a five and eleven season. It actually is a positive five and eleven season because your players got better later in the season. Is that accurate? I think what you want to do, if you want to go to the the promised land, you've got to go in a certain direction. And I think this is a direction we've never tried in the seventeen years that I've been involved with the Jets. We've never gone this way. And getting the right type of player in the locker room, young, younger, fast, built through the draft, built through young you know free agents that um, a lot of guys don't even pay attention to the guys who weren't drafted yesterday a lot of good players out there that play american football a lot of them that weren't just because they weren't drafted mm -hmm. we call them eighth round draft picks exactly <laughs> yeah but they could be first round yeah you don't exactly. know maybe somebody mis mishandled them or they yeah. didn't handle them right or they misinterpreted something that they'd done or uh, we look at those guys. Those, those are golden. If we can get a guy, get a couple guys in there. 